All right, guys, coming at you here with a little bit of a tangent. Um, I was in the middle of doing a video on this pet adoption UI, and I thought it would be useful to actually make a separate video on how to add assets and fonts to your Flutter application, because this is a question that I'm sure a lot of beginners are wondering, and it's something that still causes me problems from time to time. So let's see if we can't make a few epic fails in the making of this how-to video. Um, so what I want to do here is add these two photos and eventually a font to my app. So let's go into the famous pubspec.yaml and let's expand this real quick. Um, First things first, I might want to just delete a bunch of these comments here because it actually just serves to confuse me. Because the one thing to know about the pubspec.yaml is that it's very touchy on the indentation. You can see there's no brackets, um, there's no semicolons. So actually, this thing can be extremely touchy. Uh, so let's just delete as much as possible and let's leave some of these as examples. Okay, so the first thing you might want to do is I like to create my assets directory at the project level. So new directory and let's name it assets. Okay, maybe drag that, I don't know. Let's just not do that because I might end up putting it inside of another folder and I don't want to screw that up for the video. So um, here in the pubspec.yaml, to add assets to your application, here's your section. Um, you can see in Android Studio, I've just decommented this using the command uh, slash, and already it looks to me like it's not in the right spot. So the assets should be lined up underneath the Flutter section, um, justified completely uh, with the uses material design. Um, then you can uncomment this, and I think I get the same problem, and I always hit backspace here. So one thing you can do just to be sure is delete this and then tab. So now everything in theory should be good. <laughs> so I can go ahead and just delete this to include the entire assets folder. Um, like I said, I'm gonna delete this stuff that just serves to confuse the, the thing. Um, same thing here, decomment fonts and already I have the same, the same issue. But let's do the assets first. So where are my two photos? Little kitty and one of me. So let's just close those. And now I've hidden them behind everything. Here they are. Let's go ahead and drag these. You know, first let's make an images directory. Change my mind. Images. And let's drag the photos inside. Right, okay. Okay, yes. Okay, and every time I do this, what I like to do is restart the simulator from a complete stop. And since I'm using an old computer, I am probably going to pause the video and come back to you when it's done reloading. All right, and we're back, finally. Um, just for just a quick note here, um, after I cut the video here, I noticed that I after I had decommented the word fonts, that was actually an error. You, if you were gonna decomment this, we have to complete this. So if you're having that issue, it should be pretty clear, pretty easy to fix. Anyways, you know me though, I like to include all of my epic fails so you guys don't think I'm some sort of wizard over here. Don't get the wrong idea. Um, <laughs> all right, so now that I have successfully reloaded the app, I added this assets folder um, here in the pub spec. Um, technically, we should be able to go here in this app here that I'm in the middle of building and use one of these assets. So here we have my circle avatar. I'm gonna replace this orange circle here with a background image. And I'll say asset image to grab my assets. And here I should be able to type in the name of the asset, which at this point should be images slash me. Got to be careful here, guys. You have to, even the capitalization has to be the same. Me.jpg. Okay. So, 
I haven't lost my mind. And of course, ah, I forgot to type in, it's in the assets folder too, of course. And now I spelled it wrong. <laughs> All right. And I still cannot load the asset. Hmm. There we go. Hey, yeah, yeah. So you see, <laughs> it's never easy, is it? So uh, what I had to do is I actually had to include images in the path here, and now we can see that my photo has been loaded properly. Okay. For the second part of the video, I wanted to add a font, right? So here, what we want to do is go to Google Fonts. Um, they have tons of fonts it's a really cool website if you want to type something in here you can say hi my name is ryan and just kind of see what that looks like in each one of the fonts um, roboto is a font that i've used before and it's uh it's pretty flexible you can use it's got plenty of styles here um different font weights so let's go ahead and just download this See if we can add this to our Flutter project a little easier than we had for the images. So, got downloads here, Roboto. And what I want to do is add, uh, you know, first, actually, before I do that, let's make a directory and call it fonts. Okay. And then we'll drag a couple of a couple of these fonts in there just so we can demonstrate the bottom black. Okay, cool. How about Roboto? Um, medium italic. So now we've got multiple files in there. Let's decomment this now. We should be able to, again, watch out for the spacing here because it's really, really, really touchy. Let's call this Roboto. And then let's decomment this. And I don't trust that spacing at all. So actually, uh, yeah, yeah. let's do this one at a time here. It's off by one space. All right, and here you define the names of the files. So this will be Roboto Black. And this one, Roboto Medium Italic. And this one is already conveniently has a style uh, of uh, italic and the weight here what you want to punch in here is an integer number and you can find this by going back to the website where we got this and which ones did I take I took medium italic and black so where is medium italic it's 500 right and black is 900 so 500 and 900 um, for each one. So this one's 500. Weight 900. Okay, and if everything is spaced out correctly, we should be able to. Here, you need to have. Okay, and like that, we should be able to do a test here and see the Roboto in action. We have to choose, of course, just one of these two because they're the only two that I added. So let's go back to the menu screen. Let's change my name. Let's call this font family Roboto. Um, we use the 900 and that should bring in the Roboto Black. And you can see there 
Let's make it even bigger. Let's see how big that is. Okay. And just so we can prove. I don't know how close we can get that. <laughs> so we can prove there that we brought in this font. All right, guys. Well, thanks for checking out this video. Like I say, I like to keep in my epic fails and my um, mistakes because being a software developer is definitely not about being perfect. Um, and when you have problems, Stack Overflow, Google, um, you know, you're always relying on on resources and you can never be perfect, but we want to get, um, you know, what I want to show here is what it's really like to develop this stuff, mostly in real time. Of course, not making you guys wait for my computer to reload. But uh, yeah, thanks again for checking out this video. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you like the content. I'm just starting out right now, so um, click like, click subscribe, and that'll help motivate me to, to keep producing some more content. Thanks a lot. See you guys later.